from Macau. We finally made it here and we are starting off in Senado Square. We're going to be exploring the area on foot and taking you along. Because this was a former Portuguese settlement, all of the signs are in Portuguese and in Chinese. One of the first things I noticed about Macau are the very Portuguese tiles that they have. And these black and white mosaic tiles can be found in Brazil and also in Portugal. So let's look at them. Think landmark in all of Macau, it's the St. Paul Ruins. taking refuge in the shade. I'm melting like a popsicle. I cannot believe people are actually jogging in this weather. Insanity. So right now we are just walking up Fortaleza do Monte, which is a fortress on top of a hill overlooking the city. And it is super hot and it's super steep and we're sweating. <laughs> So here we're taking aim at one of the biggest casinos here. We've got our cannon, got the ball inside, ready to blast. Which one are we blasting? That is the Grand Lisboa. So the long climb up here was definitely worth it. Now we get some great views of the casinos and the apartments below. Well, I've been to Macau one time before, but this is your first time, so first impressions. First impressions. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Las Vegas, of course, because of all the casinos, but it also has a bit of a, a Brazilian and a Portuguese flair. It reminds me a lot of my visits to Rio, um, and the food is great, so I'm liking it so far. It is so ridiculously hot and humid outside. We've been literally subsisting off of these pearl milk teas. Another one? What do you mean? Another one. <laughs> 